Hello YouTube, it's Fred from Inaxis, I hope you're doing well. Um, in today's video, I want to do something a bit different. Um, what I'm saying by this is like we've done a lot of tutorial videos showing how to do things and but what if what if you just program, um, you know, let, let me give you this example. You've added four zones into an area, right? And you're testing the zones when the area is armed, nothing happens, the siren doesn't go off, um, it's not creating an alarm in the software, it's not sending alarms to the monitoring station and things like that. Um, and this is something that we get a lot in tech support. So I wanted to cover this aspect of the system, the ICT GX or WX system, and that will help you, you know, troubleshoot, uh, you know, a bit more effectively in, in the next site that you're programming. Okay. So there's something very, very important with, with ICT. When the area is armed completely, um, you cannot modify devices that are linked to this area, such as, you know, like say the inputs or maybe the input type, okay? So uh, the, the, the proper process of maybe adding zones or removing zones from an area is the following. You disarm the area, you make the programming changes, you save, you wait for the download to be completed, and then you arm the area and test. Like if you follow these very simple steps, you won't have to call tech support, okay? So again, you disarm everything, make the programming changes you save so that the download is triggering this, this, the changes to be sent to the panel. And then you, you may have to do a module update if you change some of the zone options, you know, like removing resistors or changing the resistor setting. And then after this is all completed, you can arm the partition or the area and test, okay? So in this example, uh, what I did is I basically added zones to the area when it was armed. And obviously, you know, we can see the keypad saying the office is armed right now, but I'm opening zone three, zone four, and the area is just staying in the arm status. And, you know, so we don't actually, um, how can I say, we don't uh, know that the system is an alarm because of that. Okay. So first thing to check, and actually anytime you leave an ICT site with, uh, with the Prodigy GX WX, you should always look at this page before leaving the site because it's going to tell you if there's anything unusual with your system. Okay, so under, um, you know, in, in, in the system uh, settings or in the controllers page, sorry, you will actually see why probably your zones are not working. So let's have a look at the software now. Okay, so back into the software uh, for this um, um, troubleshooting, you know, tutorial. So. You see, I have zone three, zone four, I can see the zones opening and closing, but on the right side here, I can see the office area is armed, but it's not an alarm. Okay, so let's see why. So I want to go to the size tab, controllers. I want to right click on the controller and call the health status. And you actually, if I move this away, you see that there's now four health status or health issues, sorry, on that controller specifically. Okay, and now we know the reason why. At the bottom here, we see area office, which is the area I added four zones to. Requires rearming because I modified input zero to three. Okay, so I modified the first four inputs in the list. So the, the, the zero, one, two, and three in brackets is the database ID of this record. So I know exactly where to look, okay? So basically the controller is smart enough to tell you, you need to rearm the area if you want to apply changes. Okay, so let's do it. Monitoring, status page view. Now I want to disarm the office just for a few seconds. Okay, and now I can arm again. While the area is arming, it's gonna take maybe 30 seconds. I can go back to my controller and actually, you know what? It's already okay. The health status shows okay now, okay? So in other words, now if I go back to my monitoring page, you know, if I open, let's say zone three, it's an instant zone now, and you can see now that the system is an alarm. The bell, act, you know, has been activated, uh, and that, uh, you know, at the if the system was set to report to the monitoring station, it would have sent the event for an intrusion alarm on zone three. Okay, so again, uh, with these very basic steps, you won't have any issues adding or modifying partitions or areas in your ICT GX or WX system. All right, so just to recap. You disarm the area, make the programming changes, wait for the download to be completed, okay? Then you can arm and test. And if you follow this, you won't need my team to help you, all right? 
So again, this was how to troubleshoot um, alarm zones that are not working properly in, in ICT GX. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you uh, are interested, you can actually, uh, or, or in more video topics or tutorial topics, please send them in the comments below. Um, please subscribe to the channel. We try to grow our fan base. We like to have more and more people watching us. Um, and again, if you are interested in ICT products, and Nexus is the Canadian distributor for ICT. Uh, so you can contact our sales team at www.nexus.com. And then, uh, you know, we can help you for quotes. We can demo the software to you and your uh, clients. And we're here to help. That's the main reason why Nexus exists, to help you. All right. So thanks for watching. My name is Fred Bergeron.